guys, this is Waga and welcome to the channel. We are going to continue working with SwiftUI and today we're going to look at the Geometry Reader. Now the Geometry Reader allows us to um, position items in a view. Yeah, It can also help us to calculate the size of a view and uh, whatnot. And that's what we're going to be working on today. But first things first, I'd like to ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Um, we have content uh from from the reactive frameworks that is flutter um swift ui and i'll be building something with react uh in, in the coming weeks so yeah so today we're going to be working with the geometry reader um so what geometry reader does is that it um it's just a container that pushes out to fill all the available space allotted to it and you can use it to position stuff within it um by default, the stuff with usually the views that you put in the geometry reader will always um, let's put a V stack first. Let's put a V stack. Um, I can't think and talk at the same time. Um, all, all the things that you put in the geometry reader will usually be centered. So, for example, we could put a, a V stack here, and we could say um, let's say text. Let's put text like so, and here we can put the word geometry reader like so and yeah and after that um we're going to have a geometry reader and we can put a modifier here we can call it font and the font is going to have dot large title like so um so that's going to be the name of our g of our text and under it we are going to put a geometry reader a geometry reader and the geometry reader is going to be a closure so we could put that and we could put g and um we could say g n and here we could have a text right we could have a text and we could say no let's make this like that and we could say centered you see already the geometry reader moves to occupy as much space as possible right and um for this we could say this we could do the same thing and give it a uh, perhaps a large title like so copy paste like so make it centered yeah and after that we could um we could see that it's centered and to make it more visible right we could come outside here the v stack and we could make the we could give it a background color we could say background and the background we could say color dot kind of like purple i like how purple looks so you see um in the geometry reader down here which takes up as much space as possible um we see that the text or whatever is put is by default centered but we could tell it we could actually decide to position it exactly where we want right so for example we could come here and um let's make it a title because it's already a large title we could make this a title like so uh, it's been a bit it's now a bit smaller we could um take the state to position it within the geometry mistake there we could make the step of positioning it and when we position it we could come here and we could say um we could give it x and y coordinates right so we could say x and remember the x and y coordinates are calculated from the center point of the geometry reader so we could say that x here is going to be g and this is the g here g dot size um dot width we could start with the width, right? And we could divide this by three, like so, and it's going to be there. And then we could put the y coordinate. It divides the screen into three, and it will start after the first third, right? And um, after that, we could put in y, and y is going to be g dot size dot height, like so. And we divide this by four. So it's going to start after the first quarter. So that's where we can put it. And um, we could. We could subtract, we could say minus, um, minus 78. And here we could say minus 98, like so. And um, why isn't it, uh, what's the problem? Oh, there is no, we haven't put uh, that, like so. And um, we need to give it space. This is Swift UI after all. So yeah, so basically that size dot width, um, g dot size dot width, and g dot size dot, like so. Let's give it a bit more space so it can calculate that, like so. So you see, um, we could position it 
accurately within the, the geometry reader. So we could move it around and that's what we're going to be playing with. And this is just a simple example and let's work with another example. And um, after that, we could also use it like, um, if I can compare it to something in Flutter, you can uh, measure the size of the screen uh, in Flutter using the, is it media query, using a media query, right? So we can also use a geometry reader to measure the size of the screen, right? Or the area that has been allotted to it, size or width of the space that has been allotted to it. So for example, we could come here and we could say, we could clear this out, clear out this text. Or rather just clear out this um, position like so. Let's come here and we find in the text we could, um, one, one important thing I think that they should include is the ability to wrap a view with another view, like the way you can do it in, in Flutter. It's a pretty cool feature. So what we could say here is vstack, like I could wrap that text in a vstack. It'd be really cool if we could do that. Or if there's a shortcut to do that, let me know in the description and the comment section. Anyway, let's do that. So we have here, we can have a text like so. We can have a text and this text will be, we could call this um, the width. And here we could use template, template literals. Uh, I forget the exact name they use it in, um, that they call it here, but we just use template literals here. And we could say, um, uh, not geometry, g dot size dot width, so that it can be cast here, like so. And it will tell us that the width is 375 point lots of zeros, it gives us way too many zeros. And after that, we could come down here, we could just copy this, and um, copy, like so, and come down and do this. And we could say dot height. So basically, this tells us how, how much space that has been allotted to the geometry reader using this. This will tell us that, um, let's make the, where does the VStack end? Let's make the font a bit bigger so that it can look a bit better. And um, the font size is going to be, dot, let's make a title, like so. Yeah, so basically that. And we can also give it a bit of spacing so that uh, they're not too close together. We could say spacing and we can make this strength. Like so. So basically that. Um, what this what this tells us is how much space has been allotted to the 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 what the geometry reader and to confirm that we could just copy this line I'm sure we'll see it copy and put it in the vista like so so you see that the height has gone down it was five um what is it eighty eighty one yeah so the height has gone down so basically this tells us this allows us to calculate the size and width of the um the space allotted to the geometry reader. Uh, first things first is we could make this look a bit more presentable, putting semicolons here and here, and we could say here height, not width, and left is width. So basically that, yeah. And another thing we could do is we could get the coordinates of the x and y in the the coordinates of the x and y in the in the container, right? So for example, if we wanted to get the coordinates, we would come here and um, and we could say g dot frame in, and then the in, you could either put local, let me show you, we could put local here, yeah, local, like so. And then after local, we'll come outside and um, put origin dot origin dot x. Like so, right? Um, did origin dot x? Yeah. So why is it complaining? G dot frame dot in dot local. Why is it okay? Oh, it's supposed to be dot local dot local like so. So when you do that, we're going to get zero here. And if we copy it and do the same thing, it's going to be g dot frame, and in it, in it we put in like so. And we could say that global, um, that let's just check that local first, dot local. And after that, we could say origin dot y, right? And the number will change to zero. Now, when, um, when you use the local coordinate space, you will always, it will always give you zero. If you want to get the, um, you need to look globally 
uh, to get the coordinates inside the current view if you want to get the coordinates inside this view if you use the local it'll always give you zero so for that we could just come here into the frame and change this to global like so global come here change it to global like so and this will give you the the height and um if we come back here and we do this i think the height will decrease because it will move down right yeah like so so basically we could get we could use this to get the coordinates and the next thing we could do is we could get the minimum the the min mid and the max coordinates and that's what we're about to do next check the um the minimum coordinate value the mid coordinate value and the max coordinate value of a geometry reader and for that we could come to this geometry reader in question and um first let's just say what we're doing we could come here and say We'll call it min, mid, max, like so. And um, we're going to have a font of a uh, large title, and we can make this foreground dot foreground color, and you could make this dot blue because uh, we don't have to say color dot blue here because it knows. So uh, it doesn't look too good. Okay, let's make it gray, like so. Okay, fine. Um, yeah. And after that, we could come here and we could embed this. How you embed this in a stack, the way you do it in like, um, there's a method you do it in Flutter, which is pretty popular. You could come here to the geometry reader, hit command and click, and uh, you come here and you can embed it. We're going to embed it in a H stack, like so. So we're going to embed it in a H stack. And after that, we are going to, um, we're going to have the, we can calculate the, mini, the, the mid, the min, and the, What's it called? And the the min, the mid, and the max of the geometry reader. And for that, we could come here and we could get rid of this since we'll just write it once and then uh, do it thrice. We could say uh, the first one is going to be min y, and we're going to show min y rather than max y because if you wanted to show the um, give us a bit more real estate. If you wanted to show the the the, the best way to show the min uh, x min mid x and max max x is if we use an ipad screen here yeah, we use an ipad instead of an iphone so i'm showing just this because of the orientation of the phone is more conducive to what we want to show so for that we could come here and um we instead of origin x we could say min y like so and it will be that and after that we could come down here and we could put a spacer so that it's pushed to the top yeah, it's at the top there, and we could copy uh, this code, like so. Copy, and we can paste it here, and we'll have something in the middle. And um, instead of min, we could say mid, so that you can see the coordinates in the middle of the view. Uh, we could say mid y, like so, and that is the mid y. And after that, we could just copy this line again, like so. And we copy it and we put another space so that you can look at the bar so it can be at the bottom completely. And um that will be uh the what's it called? The max, not the mid, the max. Max y. So basically this is it, right? Let's just make a simulator a bit smaller so you can see it. So you can see the coordinates of the mid, the min, the mid, and the max of um the geometry reader. And we're using spacer so that you can see it more visual. It looks visual. It looks better when you do it like this, right? So you can use it to calculate coordinates. Like I've said, um, you can use it to get position first. That's the first thing. Um, you can use it to get position. And you can also use it like the media query in, in Flutter to get the size of the screen so that you can position things better. And you can use it to get coordinates. And finally, you can get the minimum, the medium, the minimum, the mid, and the max coordinates. So basically that's all about geometry reader. Thank you for watching. Uh, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll be bringing along more Swift UI content. Have a good day.